Draymond Green can't control himself. At this point, he's causing more trouble to the Warriors than he is helping them. You look at the list of things that Draymond Green has done. In this calendar year, in the playoffs, stomps on DeMontis Sabonis, gets him suspended one game in the playoffs, a game in which the Warriors won. That series went to seven. Could you imagine the Warriors would have lost that game? They would have lost the series. And we're over here talking about how Draymond Green cost them a first-round matchup against a hungry, up-and-coming young Kings team. This year, you chokehold Rudy Gobert? For what? It made absolutely no sense. He made an absolute joke of himself. He shoves Donovan Mitchell, and now the recent incident, he's slapping Yusuf Nurkic across the face. Totally uncalled for. And I'm sitting here and I'm saying, what is going on with Draymond Green? What is going on with you, man? I mean, last year you punched Jordan Poole in the face. And that incident led to a downfall in chemistry that we have not seen in recent years from the Warriors. I mean, you can argue that last year that incident of Draymond punching Jordan Poole led to the downfall of the entire Warriors season. Now this year, all these incidents he's getting into, I mean, chokehold and Gobert gets him suspended five games. The league is still reviewing how many games Draymond will be suspended for slapping Yusuf Nurkic across the face pretty much. I guarantee it was going to be more than 10 games. It should be 10 games at the very least with the history of Draymond Green. It's going to be 10 games. So we're talking about this year, Draymond Green is going to cost himself 15 games in suspensions when the Warriors right now are out of the playoff picture. They have a ton of problems. Klay Thompson is not right. He's not playing well. Andrew Wiggins is not playing well. This team is old. You're leaving Steph Curry out there to dry. I mean, Draymond Green is supposed to be the leader of this team. For their championship runs, we often credited him for being the heart and soul and the leader of these teams. I think now we start to question those things. You go back to the 2016 NBA Finals. He cost himself a game, got ejected, got suspended a game, and you can look to that moment as a turning point in that series. Draymond Green arguing, arguing with Kevin Durant in 2019, calling him the B-word, led to KD leaving Golden State. Draymond at this point, is not worth the trouble. Steve Kerr was left speechless post-game. He was asked about the incident, and he says no comment. Draymond Green is out of control. The Warriors can't control him. He is going to do what he wants. And right now, he's costing this team. After he just got paid, by the way, let's mention that. After he just got paid last year, he was annoyed because he hadn't gotten paid yet. I respect that. But now he gets paid, and he's not acting accordingly. He's not acting the way he should be acting, given the paycheck he's receiving. He's not holding himself responsible or accountable. I'm tired of hearing Draymond apologize for things. And in saying that, he hasn't really apologized for much. He apologized for the Yusef Nurkic thing. He didn't apologize to Rudy Gobert for choking him out. And I hear all these responses. Man, if that was me, I would have came back at Draymond. If I was Yusef Nurkic, I would have done something. If I was Rudy Gobert, I would have done something. This is the NBA, bro. They're getting paid millions of dollars. You think Rudy Gobert wants a hefty fine for going back at Draymond Green? This ain't the streets. This is a professional basketball league. This is an organized setting. I'm glad that these players didn't go back and try to retaliate because it's stupid. Rudy Gobert, by not doing that, was a pivotal part in the Timberwolves win when they faced the Warriors. Everybody wanted Cat to retaliate. Cat had 20-plus. He was clutching that game. He had a clutch three late in it. If they didn't have him, they wouldn't have won. Yusuf Nurkic for the Suns last night, he was huge. 
He was great. Double, double. You want him to eject himself? For what? It's not worth it. It's not worth it. And the Warriors, in the past we have said before, this dynasty is over. But I think where we stand right now, we can put it in concrete and definitively say the Warriors dynasty is over. Draymond Green can't get in line. He's suspending himself every other game, doing something dumb. Klay Thompson is a shell of himself. He doesn't look the same. Andrew Wiggins, what happened to him? He was huge for the 2022 finals run. Ever since he injured his shoulder, he can't shoot. He's not defended at the same high level that he was at, at one point for the Warriors. He's looking like Minnesota Wiggins, not Golden State Wiggins. The bench is old, but it's their saving grace. Last year, the bench was horrible. This year, the bench is actually pretty productive. Steph Curry is the only player that's consistently playing at a high level for this Warriors team. Who would want Klay Thompson at this point? An expiring contract? How much is he really worth in the trade market? What is Draymond Green worth in the trade market? I think the Warriors are not able to get... I think the Warriors are not able to get much back for those two. Klay Thompson, I think they're okay with moving on from him. Draymond, because of what he means to the defense, you can't move on from him. The Warriors are stuck. Steph Curry, no matter what moves the Warriors make around him, they will not win a championship. They don't have the assets to get anything back to the point that will propel them to being a true championship contender. I think it's more likely that Steph Curry leaves in hopes of finding another championship team than the Warriors actually building a new one around Steph. That's my take on the Warriors. I think they're done. I think they're out. And it starts from the top up. Draymond Green being a leader, him not setting the example in the tone, I think is hurting everybody. Jordan Poole was supposed to be the future of this Warriors team, and he had to get traded because Draymond and him could not work together anymore. Blame Draymond. Blame Clay for his lack of play. At least he had two major injuries. I don't really blame him for that. He's getting older. Players usually tend to fall off. But Draymond Green, what he's doing is embarrassing. He's not representing the Warriors franchise in the way he should be representing them.